If iRacing tires did not have a very hard time lately since the brake dragging issue, now they are once again under fire from the funniest thing I've seen so far in my years of sim racing. So this weekend was the iRacing 24 hours of Spa, and if you know how top split is in terms of gaining an edge, they discovered that it's faster if, get ready, if you drive over grass. So Top Split Tire Racing has finally discovered how to touch grass. A couple of months ago, the brake dragging issue in iRacing racing generated quite a lot of heat as it is an exploit that uses a massive physics issue in the tire model, which is that there is too little of a connection between the tire temperature, tire pressures and grip, or at least the relationship is skewed towards low pressures. Talking about this quickly, generally the tire temperature has a relationship with tire pressures that will change the grip levels, but in our racing there is this big disconnect between tire pressure and temperature. The lowest possible pressures are used for maximum grip. This would have impacts with temperatures and pressures, but in this sim this is really not happening. But Having the brake dragging issue somewhat solved, and solved is being used in quote marks here, the iRacing meta still applies, which is to keep the lowest pressure possible with the tires as cool as possible. So what was discovered was that touching grass made a huge impact. In fact, for Spa alone, it's half a second a lap. This is really huge. Imagine this, you are watching the coverage of top splits and you see a line of Mercedes GT3s going on camel straight, more on this topic in a later video, subscribe to keep up to date. And then pretty much all of the field dips their wheels into the grass to cool them down a bit. Now, as far as I know, this behavior is not part of terms of services, as it's an exploit and using an exploit would carry penalties, but it seems that the fastest teams and drivers will be left unscathed after this. At least, they didn't have any penalties during the race and they kept doing it over and over again. It is very strange to have this behavior shown at such a high level and being practiced by pretty much the whole field without iRacing stewards doing something about it. It shows poor form from the drivers and lack of control from iRacing stewards. Team Urano Esports decide to retire their participation as they didn't want to use the exploit and being part of this. So very much kudos to them. The tires in iRacing continue to have this massive grip issue. In my opinion, because it has had this issue in some way or the other, the core pressure versus temperature versus grip never was solved until now, it is quite unlikely it will ever be fixed. Top split will always find a way to get an edge and the tires will be always on the menu for the taking. Sim racing as the name states, it should be simulating racing, not lawnmower simulator 2021, which is, you know, a good game, but it's a different genre. And I would like to know what you think about this topic and what should be done.